Hello, I'm Lorna Malkin, Chief Executive of Castleford Heritage Trust. The Trust has worked in the town for over 15 years, using our heritage and culture to raise community esteem and bring about regeneration. We've delivered a range of projects from hands-on activities to schools to major art exhibitions with internationally renowned artists. The town has never really recovered from the loss of the pits 30 years ago. Many areas are suffering from high levels of deprivation. There's high unemployment, low educational attainment and poor health statistics. Castle Heritage Trust is working to try and address some of these problems. In 2013, we purchased Queen's Mill. We want the mill to be a community hub. We'll tell our story through the heritage and culture of the town. We'll provide education opportunities, volunteering opportunities, skills and apprenticeships. And we hope to bring about the wider regeneration of the area. We'd like to tell you a bit about our plans. This is our amazing Victorian water wheel. It hasn't worked for around 50 years. We're going to restore it to generate power for the whole site. We're working with specialists who are going to carry out the restoration for us, but also run an education programme where we can involve local people in the process, giving them skills and educational opportunities. This is what we call the heart of the mill. We want to open up this space to create a welcoming and open environment. We need to get rid of all the machinery and equipment to expose the original heritage features and we want to knock through so that we can have views from the road right through to the water wheel and the river beyond. Queen's Mill is the world's largest stone grinding flour mill because of its 20 pairs of grinding stones. These 14 pairs will be moved to enable us to create a heritage exhibition space and hands-on activities for children. We are going to carry on milling though in a separate area just through here. This is where we mill our flour for open days and we're working towards producing it for sale to the public and local bakeries. In two hours we can produce half a tonne. This walkway links the two sections of the building. We're directly above the river here. You can probably hear the weir in the background and the water pushing over. We need to restore this area and we're hoping to work with local universities to deliver heritage skills training to make that possible. This is what we call the island. We have the river and our award winning footbridge on one side and the mill race on the other. When we took over the building, this space was full of huge flower silos. We've had these taken out and we can now see the great original features. We'd like to turn this space into a quality This area is what's known as the screen room. At the moment, we're having the huge silos taken out. Again, in here, we want to reinstate the two upper floors. But before that's done, we'd like to take the opportunity to put in a new staircase and a lift to give access to those floors. This space may need a bit more imagination, but eventually we want it to be a teaching space where we deliver our education programme for the water and restoration. The wheels just through here. In this area we'd like to install a kitchen which will serve as a cafe. The cafe will sell products made with our own flour. Just through here are some toilets which can service this area of the building. They just need a bit of work. In this area we'd like to refurbish these two spaces to create new public toilets. Put a roof over the top to cover us up from the elements and open up this doorway which takes us straight back into the main building. This is our workshop. We'd like to transform it into a training and skills centre. It wouldn't take much to make this a usable space. We're already working with local colleges and the Environment Agency on a river stewardship programme which would use this space to train apprentices and volunteers. We hope you've enjoyed your whistle stop tour of Queen's Mill. As you can see there's a lot to do but there's huge potential and we're already doing things now. We've opened a cafe and a visitor information centre and we have a whole host of groups that use the building on a daily basis. 
Last year we were honoured by a visit from His Royal Highness the Duke of Gloucester and we've had tremendous support from the local community and local businesses. We have around 50 to 60 volunteers working with us regularly and on our open days welcome three to 400 people here. We're already at the heart of the community but we could do so much more. So please support us and help make our dreams become a reality. Please support.